Hey guys, welcome to Tech Best. Have you ever wanted to fit a laptop in your pocket? Well, now you can. This is called the GPD Pocket. It is a tiny laptop that, true to its name, can fit in a pocket. So it is a Windows 10 laptop. I got this one here from Gearbest, and there will be a link in the description below if you want to check it out. As a size comparison, here it is next to a Galaxy S8. This is not the S8 Plus, this is just the normal sized S8. Here it is next to an iPad mini, and here it is next to a 13 inch MacBook Pro. So I think you get the idea, it is a very small laptop. Now it's got some pretty good specifications too. It's got a 7 inch IPS touchscreen with 1920 by 1200 resolution, so it's very sharp. It's got an Intel Atom X7 Z8750 quad core that can turbo boost to 2.56 gigahertz. It's got 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of onboard storage, a 7000 milliamp hour battery that is rated for up to 12 hours of battery life. It's also got Bluetooth and all the Wi Fi, including AC. And according to the manual, it can output up to 4K resolution and weighs less than 500 grams. So it comes in a nice box. The Windows key code is here, so I've had to cover it up. So along with the manual and laptop that was sitting here, we also get a USB Type-C charger and a USB Type-C cable. The keyboard is solid with excellent feedback and travel. Now obviously it is a small keyboard so it is a little cramped so you're not going to want to type a 10,000 word essay on it. Uh, but because it's small you can hold it like this and type with your thumbs. The lack of room also means no trackpad. Instead we get a track point with left and right mouse buttons. The speaker is under the keyboard so the sound actually comes up through the keys. On the right are all the ports, so we get a full size USB 3.0 port, a headphone jack, a micro HDMI for connecting to an external display, a USB Type-C port, and this is the exhaust vent for the fan. So even though the Atom is designed to be passively cooled, the GPD Pocket does have active cooling. So when the fan kicks in, it is not silent, but it's not too loud either. Now one odd thing I noticed though is that the fan would turn on when charging, even when the laptop was sleeping or powered off. Hopefully this can be fixed with an update. Now on the bottom is the intake grill and some grippy rubber feet. There's no other ports or vents anywhere else and it's made out of uh, aluminium or magnesium or some combination of the two. It reminds me of the older style MacBook Pros. It's got the same colouring and texture. It even has the same hinge design so it really does look like a miniaturised chubby MacBook Pro and the fit and finish is also top notch. Performance of the device is decent, web browsing and basic office apps won't be an issue, uh, it will even handle some basic gaming. So this is the GameSir G4 which works with both Android and Windows, it can connect via Bluetooth or the inbuilt dongle. I'll put a link below if you want to know more about it. So here it is running some Asphalt 8. Now out of curiosity I also tried some video editing on it using Sony Vegas and it actually worked very well. Now personally I left Windows about three years ago and went to Mac and haven't been back since so I'm not a big fan of Windows but this device I actually enjoy using and that is a testament to how good the GPD Pocket is. Now it's not for everyone, I wouldn't recommend this as a primary device but if you want a compact secondary machine or perhaps you want something more versatile than a tablet while being just as portable as a tablet then this is hard to beat. So does it have any issues? Well other than the fan turning on when it's powered off and charging there haven't been any issues for me. I have seen another video where a reviewer had Wi-Fi connectivity issues. Uh, that's not been my experience. Wi-Fi signal strength has been excellent on my unit. Now it doesn't have an SD card slot or a webcam, but then MacBook Pros no longer have SD card slots, and you can always use your smartphone for web chats. Uh, maybe they could add those if GPD make a version 2. Anyway, to summarize this, it's fantastic. If you've got the money and have an idea of how you want to use it, just go for it. It is a very, very good device and it is also a lot of fun to use. Anyway guys, what do you think of it? Would you have a use for a tiny laptop? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, take care and I'll catch you in the next one.